Welcome to the Telabs Optical LAN video using overlay networks. The purpose of this video is to provide knowledge and instruction of the use and application of the Telabs Optical LAN overlay network feature. The topics covered in this video will be an overview of the Telabs network overlay solution for the Optical LAN PON, the equipment used for this application, as well as provisioning, installation, and planning information. Passive optical networks use a fiber optic infrastructure to provide communication from OLT to ONT. In order to support seamless upgrades with little to no outage for customers, all PON technology is designed to enable coexistence of previous PON modes and future PON modes. This is achieved by using wavelengths that do not interfere so that they can coexist on a single PON optical distribution network. This means that a single fiber can simultaneously carry GPON and XGS PON protocols. PON overlay networks have several advantages. First, it protects the cabling infrastructure investment. PON technology is implemented around a single mode fiber cabling plant. Single mode fiber works well over long distances, up to 20 kilometers or more, depending upon the installed laser. Also, single mode fiber supports very high speeds. Multi-terabit throughputs have been demonstrated on a single mode fiber. This ensures that once the cabling is installed, it can be reused in subsequent upgrades to go to higher speeds and additional features with no changes to the cabling infrastructure. The ability to add additional wavelengths to the network with minimal interruption to the existing network is one of the key features that allow you to upgrade with minimal impact to your users. Most upgrades can be performed with outages of a minute or less. Since the architecture supports multiple wavelengths on a fiber, this allows you to upgrade users as needed without service interruptions. One by one, upgrade individual users by changing out their ONT to one that supports the new wavelengths and higher speeds. Only users that need additional speeds are moved to the new wavelength higher speed ONTs. All the other users who have adequate bandwidth can continue to use the existing ONTs and infrastructure. Overlay networks allow two or more separate networks to coexist on the same fiber. Examples include separating data and payment systems in retail, separation of patient data, back office systems, and guest services in hospitals, and separation of power users from traditional network users. Network separation can also be used in multiple tenant situations where separation of network traffic is required. Overlay networks are supported on the OLT6, OLT1, and OLT Mini using the OIU8 and OIU2 PON cards. Each PON port used in the overlay will need an appropriate PON transceiver. Each PON protocol is connected by fiber to a combiner that will place all wavelengths on a single fiber in the splitter. Once installed, a combination of both GPON and XGS PON ONTs can be deployed on the splitter. The combiner mounts in a standard LGX enclosure. It has three SC APC connections. GPON is attached to the GPON transceiver at the OLT. NGA is connected to the XGS PON transceiver at the OLT. The common connection includes the combined XGS PON and GPON signals. This will be connected to the splitter. The two PON ports involved in the overlay network can exist on the same OLT, separate OLTs, or even separate networks. In the EMS, the PON profile assigned to each port will need to be given the appropriate type, GPON or XGS PON. It is best to label each PON port in the EMS to reflect their overlay status and the location of the splitter. New ONTs installed will follow the template of the OLT that they are associated with. Adding an additional wavelength involves the following steps. Mount the combiner in an LGX enclosure between the existing splitter and the OLT. 
cable up the new XGS PON OLT laser to the combiner input. Unplug the existing GPON fiber from the splitter and plug it into the combiner input. Plug in a new fiber going from the combiner common output to the input of the splitter and add new XGS PON ONTs to replace GPON ONTs. The system is now ready to implement the new wavelength. This process can also be used to add GPON to an existing XGS PON installation. Once both the wavelengths have been placed onto the same fiber, either XGS PON or GPON ONTs can be installed on the same fiber with no limitations. To upgrade a user from GPON to XGS PON, simply unplug their GPON ONT and plug in the XGS PON ONT. The ONT, if configured on the XGS PON port, will immediately come into service and the user now will have availability to the full 10 gig PON bandwidth. The GPON and XGS PON ONTs cannot see each other's traffic and are totally isolated. Overlay networks are also supported for PPG-based networks. PPG or PON protection groups utilize type B PON protection to enable protection from OLT and uplink network failures. PPG can be combined with overlay networks, but requires some additional equipment to implement. Overlay networks with PPG require a combiner for both the primary and secondary OLTs. This allows the XGS PON and GPON signals to be combined. The common output for each combiner is then connected to a two input splitter. This allows the GPON and XGS PON signals to operate completely independent of each other from a protection status. XGS PON might be active on the primary OLT and GPON can be active on the secondary OLT. Once this is cabled up, it can be treated as any other PON protection group with the exception that you must be aware of both XGS PON and GPON signals on the fiber and force both onto the same OLT prior to performing any maintenance or upgrades to prevent service from being affected. When utilizing overlay networks, ensure that insertion losses are accounted for within the combiner in the total network budget. The XGS PON combiner introduces 1.2 dB of insertion loss into the optical budget for each ONT. This concludes this video. In it, we have discussed an overview of the Telev's network overlay solution for the optical and PON, the equipment used for this application, as well as provisioning, installation, and planning information.